tiny little window, but we need to substantial pillar this side because we've got that door is going in there. And as you can see, this uh, this not, not, uh, not up too much. No need for a vertical damp because there's actually a gap all the way down. It's completely. Good Wednesday morning. Um, Wednesday the 6th of September. Back on this. That's Alex, that's three days work on the trot we've done. Oh, it will be today. So yeah, that's what we got up to yesterday. Stand back a bit. <clears throat> Tiny little window, but we need a substantial pillar this side because we've got that, that door is going in there, which are heavy. So we're going to get the block worked on today, get it up to the scaffold height, maybe a little bit higher. But before that, we need to take this panel out, this one here. I'm going to take that out carefully so we can push it back in temporary. Uh, the, the end of that purling's coming out. As I've probably explained all this, but um, blocks need cutting down every other course so they working with the tie wires so we're not uh, having the tie wires bending. And excuse the mixer, this is how it looks from yesterday. Ibstock Tradesman Heather 73 mil. And I think they look smart then. Bit of a bugger to cut, they tend to shatter it when you're cutting them. But um, apart from that, good brick. We may be not we may be dropping the doorway the course down, we're not sure yet. That's all to be sorted out. But uh, the lintel's gonna go up the same height anyway. If we do drop the door, then you just put a, a trim across the top. So yeah, that's where we're up to. And Alex is getting a half a mixing to get us started. As usual, we'll put you somewhere out of the way and we'll get a bit, get a bit of demolition done. because I've not mic'd up because I'm putting the stud on the wall. Right, that, that didn't take too much to get off. So this, this spar has been took, uh, yeah, spar. And as you can see, this, uh, this purling's not, not, uh, not up too much. That wall plate looks like cardboard. Um, yeah, we're going to whip this out and then we're just going to put it, place it back on temp with a couple of screws in it when we're done. So now we can get the trestle up on the inside, which is going to make it a lot easier than trying to trestle over that lot down there. And then I've got uh, just the rest of the tools to do once I've got a decent, um, something decent to stand on. So, mix is in, I'm going to get tidied up here and get this block work done. And now we can get, get on this inside, just get this thing up with the uh, saws on now. Never a rant to Alex because we've had a comment this morning saying uh, we've sold our soul because we've sponsored by Milwaukee. So um, I told him to hit the subscribe button on the way out, amongst other things. But he's, who's, who's he to tell me whether we can be sponsored or not? He sits there and watch YouTube for free. 
I think I've got a clue what, how much time and effort goes into doing the channel. So um, we can do it without people like that. So goodbye, Brian. Go right back so we don't catch ourselves on it. Right back flush. Jobs are good. One pearly done for. Oh, it smells nice. That bit wasn't rotten. Look at that. Oh, it smells like freshly cut timber. Do you know why? Because it's just freshly cut. Exactly. <laughs> right, let's get a tidy up done and we'll get some get some cuts done. So we have a battle plan. We uh, we know the first few cuts, so we can get them down. Obviously, the way the tailways work with imperial brick and metric block, it's all all over the place. So we just got to do a few cuts here and there. We've no we know the first few. This part nicely works block, so uh, all we have to do is cut some halves for there. Um, got our know our cuts for here, and then we just need to figure out the ones in between these tailways because. Like I said, it's all over the place. But um, yeah, got our batten. We can nail up a batten profile there, run them in nicely to the line. I'll get the motor loaded up then, and then we'll get working. Sounds good, doesn't it? Let's go. Uh, can you tell I've not uh, done this for a while?
Here we go. This is our first course of cuts. 200 mil. Well done. So, let's get this up to damp. As you see, we've got our old school battens nailed up. A couple of nails, a bit of a batten, follow the line. Easy, easy peasy. So then, um, that's damp course level. Damp course on full full brit, full block, then another course of cuts. And we've messed up here the tie wires. They should have been a course lower, so we're going to put a, a thin cut in there. So, freshly charged, ready to go. Beautiful. I bet it looks weird with a, a 3 amp hour battery in it. I think we missed that. Can turn itself off, so I think we missed that. It just someone's someone jokes in the comments there's always a drama with us, but it's very rarely our fault. Yeah. Obviously, we've got the cuts to do, which we knew about, which are easy. It's just getting them done. But we've been sent 85 mil insulation, with 85 mil cabinet. You don't know how much pain the arse is to try and rip this stuff down because it just doesn't. So this, we're covered in insulation now. It's sweaty. Anyway, let's go for a break.
it's, it's Wednesday the 6th of September so everyone will know this day because it's I think it's the hottest day of the year so we're up to here we decided to put the trestle on the outside which is a right pain scaffolding over this lot but um, gives us we can reach higher on the face work and as a push we can always raise the trestles up again but at the moment we're going to get it levelled up we get it from a little high and get the brickwork across the top that's the plan anyway it's um, just after one so we need to get a push on and I need to go to Fairwoods because the small windows that small we're going to swap these two lintels for one and get it with a 1.8 through one lintel we need um, can we trace stuff as well we can get the lintels on and get the block work across the back and leave the face work across the front. How about the uh, cabinetry? Yeah, we'll bring that tomorrow. We don't need that today. As long as we do the block. Oh, we're, we're just getting up to the height. Yeah, and then maybe the block across the back and then we can put the cabinetry tray on top of all that then. I've just realised that, as I said, as I said, lintels in, I really like cavity tray. But I've still got to go up there and get all these toothers out. So while Alex is getting a mix sorted out and that, I'm going to get up there and get those done. I need to whip them out, which shouldn't take too long. And then um, by that time, Alex should have a mix in, which again is awkward because the scaffold's in the way now for getting the stuff through. It's a back oh, yeah. So that's it. Once this is on here, I'm going to hop up there. Well, I'm going to climb up there. I don't hop anywhere anymore. I just tend to fall over. And get these in. Get the nasty bit of toothing done. I want them to run tubers out, we'll be ready to get some brickwork done. I also need to move that, that um, profile up. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. There's nine courses to go in there yet before we get to the window. Yeah. Luckily there's only like six brick in the course. Jeez, it is warm today, and every time I do that, so stop it dripping in my eyes. I've got insulation in my gloves, so I've got a very itchy head and eyebrows. I'm a bit dusty too, as you can see. That's another eight tubers out. If we're going to the height, I think we're going to. I think we're still going to take one more out, but, but we'll see. I can't reach the. You can see I'm at full stretch here. That's not bad pointing out. Using the ground up there is not recommended. And yeah, they come out really nice. No need for a vertical damp because there's actually a gap all the way down. It's completely detached, so we don't need vertical damp in there. And I've got this on here to keep the wall clean. There we go. So we're ready to go. Probably get about six face brick on, and then we'll swap over and take the block up as we go. And we'll probably, probably do the cuts in the garden for its worth, or maybe in here instead of at the front, just because it's time's getting on a bit now. Al, is it two o'clock yet? Adam. I bet it's after two, isn't it? About half two. Twenty five to three. Did you press clock? No. Oh, press clock. Twenty five to three. Yeah, we press clock. Clock comes on. Every day is a school day, 25 to 3, so 25 to 4, 25 to 5, that just gives us two hours. It's, it's 2 o'clock. Is it? Gives us two and a half hours then, that's made my day that. So once, once we're cracking on here, I can nip off and get the lintel. I think it's 9 on top of that, so the lintel. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Sorry, 8. Ooh. 8 to lintel height, which is that one. And the rest of that is pike, stroke gable. We're just going to play around with these a little bit, aren't we? Yeah. Way. Yeah, be alright. Just put it on the pin flat, from off the bottom of the pin. That'll be in the right place. Yeah, this stuff's like iron. The only good thing about that is it pops straight off. It just pops. Proper strong 
three to one that frog down there you can see perfect example why you don't do frog down because the frogs you've got a nice well not a nice void for the voids so there you go London brick why you don't set them frog down void Void. Void. Ready to go. I was just walking into the garage door again. Show your head. Yeah, I did it twice on day one, he's done it twice on day three. Yeah, we're all set up, lines up, profiles up, two things done, brick. Well, we're all ready to go. I'll just show you this quick. This little uh, Fitz brick invention, which is absolutely fantastic, which fits on the Blakes. Um, because your, your brick fits into this groove here, down there, then because this is plumb. I don't have to plumb the end of this brickwork. I'm just butting up to this, and it, you can't get it wrong. Whereas the old line clip, you, there's a chance you could push it past the line, which often happened, and you'd have to plumb every course. Because this is here, that's saving me all that time trying to plumb somewhere where I can't even get to it to plumb it. Because I'm, I'm, it's like not much. I can't really get at it. So this thing comes in absolutely perfect. More wonderful inventions by Richard. So yeah, I'm going to gauge that. It's uh, 85 mil per course up to lint light, which is the which is marked on the profile. I've can't, I've got my red, my white pen. So yeah, let's crack on. Let's get this up.
Nearly five. Mm. Hi. It's nearly five o'clock. So that's it. We're up to Lincoln Lake. Level three with everything. Just made right balls up. Well, realised our balls up. We're going to. That little nib there, we said it's too small to be in block. Well, it has to be done in block because we've got a, a lintel over there. Go! So we're going to take the two lintels back that we got, back to berries, swap them for a 1.8 which will span both windows, sorry, the window and the door, which is going to be a lot stronger as well. And we must remember cavity tray and stone and, and wheat vents from home. Just such, such little things slowing us down, like the insulation being the wrong size and having to split it down, trying to make it... Anyone knows trying to split, to split that stuff down knows it's a nightmare. So yeah, we've just got the mix to do and get going. And we're going to get it off, we're going to reach off this tomorrow. Just raise it up a bit and get the last bit with a hop up. Pipes going from there to there. And the um, socket set, I need to write this down. Yeah, and this guy's dish is coming off tomorrow. Hey.